more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height but big differences in reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, the Sniper. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Let's All right, so fight. here we go with round one. This is his UFC debut. So you know what he did on the regional circuit. Ran rough shot through a lot of the guys in his division. Now the question beckons, will his game translate to the big show? No denying he deserves to be here. We'll see how it goes here in his first UFC start. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do them in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and sir. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Get out of there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Punch over the top. Oh, nice right hand, John. Just missed on the front kick there. Big kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Continues to mix it up, going to the You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab this young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Great punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Gotta keep going out there. Keep doing the same thing. Stick to the plan. Yeah, you ready? You ready? Go fight, guys. Let's pick up the pace. Oh, 
caught. He lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Big kick. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well placed with the kick. Dig and kick. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Whiffs on that offering. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high garage. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there. Bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. That's right. <laughs> well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, looks like he's... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet, because his face was turning into mincemeat with that ground and pound in the previous round. Oh, he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transitions into the elbows. I mean, he was so, he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, Jiu-Jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face, and there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Man, look at that, Dan. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent is trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh. Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to attack him. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. 
Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just digs into the body. That shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. He's trying to keep a good poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Wow! He's out! Oh. He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice...